Hello my friends, welcome back to the Tarot Nose. Thank you again for all your kind wishes and for your cups of tea. Well, obviously I'm going to read on the court case now. Um, I wasn't getting any vibes really on it, so I'm feeling a bit now, but, but we'll see what the cards say. I want to first read around Megan's energy and I also want to briefly read around Harry and but I definitely want to read into Jason Knopf, Knopf, Knife, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I've looked it up a thousand times. But anyway, and I can't find his date. I can't find his month of birth. So I can find his year. But anyway, we'll go. We'll jump into Megan and see how she feels about what's happening now. You certainly, I mean, she is still lying. She was on the New York TV programme. I don't know who it was, but the guy was starstruck by her. And she's still lying through her teeth, despite being caught in court. It's just unbelievable. And then, of course, the red dress. I won't even go there in this reading. But um, we'll see. OK, so I just want to know how does she feel? about being caught perjuring herself. Okay, how does Megan feel about being perjuring herself? She's definitely very stressed about it and there has been arguments. Um, now she's blaming the royal family now. She's saying that Harry was being berated by his family because of Thomas Markle. She's just unbelievable. She cannot take responsibility for herself. So this will be her excuse for lying through her teeth. Well, it's not gonna wash. Yeah, the two of swords, blindfolded again, digging, putting her head in the sand, you know, and thinking that she'll get away with this. But she's, she's not seeing the severity of this. But she's, of course, calculating her options. What can I do here to get away with this? And I actually don't think she is going to get away with this. I mean, this is sort of a stalemate as well. But it is a choice. She She's not sure. They're arguing, the two of them, over what they should do. Um, Queen of Cups. Wow, there's... There's drinking going on here, guys. The two of them are definitely dabbling in um, substances, I'll put it that way. But the Queen of Cups is, when she's reversed, she's very, very unstable. So let's face it, we know that about herself. I mean, she's it's addictions, it's alcohol, it's unfaithfulness, actually, and it's crazy. I mean, just when you think you can't see any more crazy, she goes to a whole new level. I got a bit of a rap on the knuckles for um, my terminology used towards these two. So I'm trying to keep it. Apparently, the sugars are targeting YouTube now, so I'll try and keep it less. What do I, what do I even say? I don't know. Okay. Well, we know here she's a lunatic. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And the kids. I've seen recently as well that Harry said the world's never going to see his children. Oh, really? Who knew? But that, of course, raises questions again. Why? Anyway, we're not going to read about them here. But Lilibet is in the past. That's interesting. Okay, moving forward, two of cups. She is definitely chasing somebody else. But at that award thing, you know, they were so juvenile. They were standing there like kids with their arms around each other. It was just crazy. Now, of course, the claw was out in full force. Um, but they're prete this big pretense, you know, that they're all loved up. No. The Wheel of Fortune. Gosh, she really is still as deluded as ever. She 
just believes that this is her fate, this is her destiny, she'll get away with it. Um, and that's full on delusion there because that wheel of fortune, by all accounts, should be reversed in the situation she's in. But because her delusions are so strong, she still is not accepting responsibility, accountability, anything. She's still deluded enough to, to go on a chat show in New York and talk about her truth, spreading the truth and misinformation when she's been caught blatantly lying. It's unbelievable. But it just goes to show her level of insanity. This woman is so far from saying it's just even, it's not even quantifiable. Major rows, major, major rows going on here. And there can only be one winner in this situation. And I see this as Harry and Meghan walking away with their tail between their legs because the Crown are going to win. Just as Warby was taken off this case for a reason, I think he made a judgment to appease the Crown. I don't think he looked into it properly at all. Now, the only problem now is that the in the appeal, the defendant, of course, has to prove that just as Warby's case is worth turning over or his ruling is worth turning over. So I, I think there's plenty of evidence for that, but we'll see. At least there's three independent judges uh, presiding over this and Warby has nothing to do with it. So, but she's she's absolutely livid and she still thinks she's the victor here. She still thinks she's going to win and she's stabbing people in the back all over the place with the swords. And as I said, now she's going for the royal family. It was all their fault for creating Harry. And he is just as bad. I really have a horrible feeling when I think about him now. Um... The death card is far from over, guys, far from over. And she doesn't know when to admit defeat. Like sending an apology to the court. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my brain that day. Like, what would happen to us if we perjured like that? She just has the cheek of six arses. Excuse me. She really does. Yeah. Go, they're going to run again. They're going to they're going to leave L.A. and they're going to run again. And I noticed they did this Afghanistan children. School thing, whatever. Harry was probably discussing his favorite color. He was probably in his element. But um, she wasn't even focused on the children. She was looking at the camera. So and these were. Afghanistan refugees. I thought it was a bit ironic that Harry was in Afghanistan. Then again, he didn't do any real service, so it's not like he t attacked these families. God bless them. But this is all to try and, you know, up their stakes. But they're not. They're destroyed. Well, in my opinion, they're just destroyed now, but we'll see. Wow. Money, 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 money. She cannot see beyond money. And I'm actually appalled that these cards are so positive for her. But as I said, this is how she's thinking. She just sees this as a hiccup. And because of who she is, she thinks she'll get away with it. And I don't think she will this time. There are arguments, but she's not looking at the seriousness of it at all. But that's the delusion. How does Harry feel about all of this? I mean, he seems to be as entitled as she is. I just think he is. I think I'm more disappointed in him because he led us to believe he was a decent person. And actually, that's why. Now, will I take them out? Is that too many? Yeah, I will. The Eight of Wands. This is Harry we're reading now, okay? I was given out to about the noise my cards make when I shuffle, so... I like to shuffle when I'm reading because I feel I'm picking up the energy. So my apologies if the cards are too loud, but I don't know what I can do. It's the way I do it. The Eight of Wands is sort of, it can be the new opportunities coming in very fast and all the rest. They're going to see a rapid decline or just a stop in any opportunities that come their way now. There is talk of a follow-up Oprah interview. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, 
as I said, we'll, we'll look into that. I just think, okay, King of Pentacles, Harry is thinking he can be king in his own country, which is the US. The cheek of him, the cheek of him, my US friends, you fought for your independence. Like, who do they think they are? They have no shame. Now, I'm seeing this as Harry here because it's his star sign, but Harry isn't mature enough mentally to be a king. So I'm wondering who else that could be. It might be one of the judges. It might be Jason Knife, um, the King of Wands. Oh, this is definitely, I'd say, the judges. The family. Yeah, he thinks being a part of the royal family is going to swing this with the judges. And it might for him, the devil reversed. And the hangman. Mm, I don't know. Harry's text wasn't read out in court. He was protected from that. And I believe that was the text where he basically said to Thomas Markle, if you'd listened to what I told you, um, none of this would have happened. Because Harry told him basically not to talk to the press and ha told, telling him how to live his life when he never even met the man. And that was a very scolding text from Harry. So... Yeah, Harry is worried here. He He's hanging in the balance. He he is a bit scared about what's going to happen because he, he's worried that his family won't protect him. And why should they? Look at him. He's the devil. He's he's as bad as Markle, but he's he's not as brave as her. He's had the protection of his family covering him all his life. That's how he's been shielded and that's how he's never had to be accountable because it's been hidden. This is not there for him anymore. And this is where he's worried. My family won't protect me. Because he's a grown ass man. Excuse my language. OK, so Harry is still thinking his family will bail him out of this. There has been his text wasn't read out in court. This guy is just so malicious. Now, the only reason that devil is reversed is because he doesn't have the intelligence to be as malicious as Marco. I don't think she's very intelligent either, but I do think she's incredibly insane. The hanged man here, I think we're going to be waiting. Now, they said there, there'd be a decision made by the end of the year. Now, that could, actually, I was going to say we'd be waiting 12 weeks. I think that'll be the 12th month. A decision will come in. Yeah, I think Harry's going to be begging his family. But I think William is gunning for this and I will ask who urged Jason Knopf to speak out was it William or was it the entire family let's see what energy we get here or did he decide himself I'll pull three of these cards I'm going to use a different deck for him Oh, interesting. Wow. OK, I think he feels that he should have. Well, he probably I think it was said that he feels he should have spoken out before. But I would see this as Megan, the fallen star, the bad judgment. I mean, the, th the fact the stuff she put in writing, if she was anyway smart, there would be no mail trail of that. There'd be no text. Nothing goes in writing. Um, and I have to wonder, as her advisor, why he didn't tell her this. But then again, she doesn't listen. This The page of swords is the spy. I definitely see around her. So I think this is a lot to do with the security, with MI6. They want to bring her down completely. And he doesn't like her at all he made a decision on her a long time ago and he felt he was undermined and bullied as well as other staff members i think there was pressure from let's say the gray men or mi5 to annihilate her but he does regret not coming out i think he would have come out himself but we'll ask um what does what does Jason think of Megan? I, I think we pretty much have it there that 
you know, she's just a nasty piece of work that thinks she's above her station. How does he feel about her? I don't know if I reversed any of these, but we'll see. How does he feel about her? King of Wands. Do you know something? I noticed the other day, I think that is so like, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, he's got a beard and grey hair. I was thinking he's, he looked so like William when he was upside down, but up close he doesn't. The King of Wands, that's interesting because we've two, we've a King of Wands upright and a King of Wands reversed. I'd be very interested to see if he is Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. He's angry. Ace of Pentacles, money, the magician. Two of Pentacles, funny, there is money here, but I think this is, is he paid off? Possibly. He's been paid very well anyway. I think this is more to do with the fact that she was such a money grabber. He saw her for what she was and he saw a very different side of Harry, because it was all about money with these two. And he sees that case for what it was. She was suing the male to get money. And he is the one that can make this happen. He's the magician. He can make this case happen with what he has on paper. So he just sees her as a money grabber. And I think he finds it. he's very angry over what they've done to the Queen and the royal family because he was a very, very loyal worker. When we saw the Cambridges hire Jason when the Sussexes went abroad, and then we saw the Queen hire, what's her name? Used to work for the Clintons. Sarah Latham. If that wasn't a tactical move, I don't know what was. This was obviously strategic to get these people on their side and they would speak out then against Megan. I mean, this is, I know we can be, I certainly can be very impatient, but when you think about it, guys, I've been seeing this in my readings coming up that they will be exposed. They will be exposed. And we're all asking when, when, when this has been planned for so long by the Royals. And the hiring of their ex staff really goes to show how long ago this was planned this attack, that they were ready for it. Um, so does Jason Knopf have more to reveal? Now, because he was involved in the bullying allegations and he reported them, or he witnessed the bullying allegations, I have my own feeling on what's going to happen with the bullying case, but I'm just going to ask, is there more to come from Jason Knopf? Not necessarily in this case, but in the bullying case. Two of Wands reversed. The Fool, wow, and expect the unexpected. And the Ace of Cups, oh my goodness, I wonder is this going to be, will the kids come out? The Strength, oh, she's so weak here. I mean, definitely he has an awful lot of stuff hidden. You know, the communication, the media and all the rest, which is hidden at the moment. It's going to come out when we least expect it. Now, I'm seeing that what they will do is wait until the judgment is in for this case, the ANL case. And whatever the judgment is, they're going to lambaste her then with the bullying claims that Jason Knopf has all the information on. So even if this judgment isn't overruled, which I will fall over if, if it's not overruled, this bullying case is going to hit them like a mallet. And that's in The Fool there. Because The Fool is the new beginnings, the taking a leap of faith. But it's also expecting the unexpected because you're not prepared in that character there. It's just embracing anything that comes your way. It's a new beginning. So, yeah, I think it's going to lambaste them. And I can't help feeling here that the kids... Because the Ace of Cups are birth, a new birth, but they can also be new love and all that sort of thing. But in their cards, I see it as the children, especially because Lilybeth was in the past. So let's hope this will all come out. And Jason Knopf has a lot more 
dirt on her than she realizes. Is this their tactic? Are they waiting for the judgment on this case before they release all the information on the bullying case? Is this their strategy? I, I feel it. Re I, and regardless of what the cards say, I know that's what they're going to do. So we'll see. Page of Swords. Absolutely. Page of Swords again. This is the spy. The MI5. Yeah, this has been planned for years, guys. The minute she started, they started their plan of attack. The Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. I don't, my mouth is broken today. I don't know why. Um, now, that's bereavement. I mean, I can't help feeling she's going to be disappeared. I really do. And it's not by the royals either. That's another reading I'm going to do on the ring she's wearing, the pinky ring. Because do you know what? I've been afraid to do readings on certain things, but yet there's other people able to talk about these subjects on YouTube. So I'm just going to try it. Um, I really think the royal family are the least of her worries. I think there's other people very, very peeved with her. And I'm talking about different connections to the elites. There we go. Look at her. Look at her. The eight of pentacles. Because that is why I bought this deck. Because it actually. Can you see it, guys? I love to lean up. This is the Lightseer deck. There's a link to it in my description. There's a link to all my um, decks in the description. If you, I just thought that was phenomenal. It is her. So the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think there's going to be, there's going to be exposure of money here. Okay, so I think, yes, this is, they will wait for the verdict of this case. And then it'll all come crashing down on her about the bullying case. And money. That nine million has to be accounted for that Doria laundered or had overnight um will the bullying case become public yes absolutely yeah it will we just have to be patient guys i really think this guy is so imperative in this case and this ace of swords is the cutting the four of pentacles is money clever strategic action cutting through the dirt but the temperance is they're waiting for on the other deck now the temperance has the crown in it and it's well balanced and it's even temperament they're really taking their time with this and you know they're going to wait and we have to wait but the bullying case will become public i just wanted to ask whatever the ruling is or if it goes in the favour of the newspaper ANL, will they expose the friends or will the friends speak out? Like, will they get scared now? Because this is a mess for anybody to be involved in. And it's so obvious that she's lied. I personally would be saying, oh, hang on a second. I don't want to get caught into this court case. But then again, who are the friends? Are they me, myself and I and Harry and himself? Will the five friends ever be exposed? The tower. Oh, wow. I haven't got the tower in this deck. I like it, but I don't feel it represents it as well as the rider weight. There's Harry's little balls there. Look. <laughs> oh, dear. He's juggling balls, that is, of course. He's ginger nuts. It's a disaster. The five pentacles. Yeah, I think they will be exposed. That's being outed six of pentacles money charity the whole lot is going to come out guys and the three of pentacles teamwork she's desperately they are desperately scrambling to get the money to fight this case for starters but because they'll have to pay costs if they lose the three of them in this team and that is doria megan marcus was who, who i originally thought but we've the other markers on board now very convincing interview Thomas did. I have to say I was nearly swayed, but then I had to think about him saying, oh, they owe me. OK, we have the judgment coming in probably in the 12th month. 
That'll be nice for them for Christmas, won't it? Will this go to trial? Will she have to take the stand? Oh, divine justice. Will it go to trial? Oh, look. The beautiful thing here is that the royal family wanted to go to trial. There's no holding back now. The gloves are off. But it's a head wreck. It's an absolute head wreck. I think the judges are going to find it very hard to agree on this. And I have to say from these cards, the answer is a no. It won't go to trial. But then I see the power of the crown here. The fact that she's incapable of learning from her mistakes will actually go in the favour of the crown. OK, I, I have to ask, will this ruin her? Will this, has this ruined her? We saw all the opportunities drawing up. Wow. Oh, absolutely it has. Now the cards are reversed, meaning it's a no, but if you look at the cards, they make perfect sense. The teamwork is falling apart. People are running away from her. Harry is just being seen in the true light of what the monster he is. I am truly appalled at him. But I do think Harry's going to be protected. Will Harry be protected? No, he won't. He'd be exposed. But it's a minor arcana. I don't think he is going to get the repercussions that Megan will. But she's not going to go to jail, guys. I don't think she is. She may have to pay back her settlement and pay costs. And she may get a rap in the knuckles. But I don't think she's going to get jail time, realistically. We'll see. Will she get jail time? Oh, wow. Oh, that could, that's interesting. She could claim insanity. Go into recovery for a while. It certainly is going to be a very interesting case. But I suppose it's undecided at the moment. I just don't feel that they're going to get the wrath of the legal system, truly. But we'll see. Our messages from heaven, guys. Um, what do our loved ones have for us today? Your guides and angels and our loved ones up there. Please let us know what you want us to know. The earth is our school. Never a truer word spoken. As we get older, the lessons we learn. Oh, wow. We have been together in dreams. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. I had such a horrible dream the other night. I dreamt my ex-psychopath had been given a royal title. Analyze that. <laughs> I was obviously equating him to the evenness of Marco. I love the purple on this. It's like lavender. And lavender is so tranquil. The purple is, of course, the intuition, spirituality and prestige in the colours. But it's asking, telling you that intuitively believe in your dreams and believe in what you're seeing. Um, there's no such thing as death. That's lovely. I find that a bit creepy though, that card. But I suppose it's our soul going to the other side. I want to pull a crystal card for us because I love these cards and I'm not using them enough. What's our message for today? See the magic. Oh, that's lovely. Nice. That sort of coincides with the intuition in this one what is our shaman's oracle message for today the spirit of the river movement towards adventure number 50 go across water live your dreams okay guys please like subscribe share ding the bell for notifications thank you so much for being here and thanks to all the new subscribers and i'll see you again very soon bye for now